they said the price. I didn't say the number. I asked yeah. them, how low can you get? How close to that number can you get? What's the best you can do type questioning? And they told me, well, I, the lowest I'll do is 130. You can do it 130. So Allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm Chris Monroe. R to the O-E I flip houses, rent cars, and make money You know I'm not no mother dummy This is how we do Perfect sense, so Great answer um, Great answers from all three So what I would say when it comes to cash, cash, cash terms last Because I used to say like you just said, Justin oh, I'm just going to give them a the trade deal and give them what they want Uh-uh There's a trick to it When we do cash, cash, cash We're resetting their expectations to bring that price down just because we're getting terms doesn't mean we don't get equity and terms. So when we say cash, 150, oh, I want I want 200. Or no, I want 150. Uh, 150 seems kind of high. I mean, just looking at it, I mean, we're probably somewhere between, I don't know, 80 and 90,000. I mean, what do you think about that? Oh, no, that's too low. No, I can't go that low. I mean, so how close to that can you get? No. Well, 150, I can come down, to, I can probably do like 130. I mean, that's probably all I can do, 130. Hmm. Is that the best you can do? 130, okay. Now we got them locked in at 130, then we hit them with the terms. Come on, Justin. Oh, uh, now, now I'm with you. I'm with you. That you makes got them at a lower price, because you're not going to get them no lower than you're going to get them from the beginning. So I'd rather beat that price up first, then come around and throw the terms on that low price. Yeah. I'm with you. That makes sense. But they said the price. I didn't say the number. I asked yeah. them, how low can you get? How close to that number can you get? What's the best you can do type questioning? And they told me, well, I, the lowest I'll do is 130. You can do it 130. So you tell me if, we can, if there's a way we can come up with 130 and get this deal done for you. I mean, we might have to get a little creative on it. Is this something we should talk about or probably not? They're like, what? What you talking about? Getting creative with it. What do you mean? At this point, what do we do? Insert third party story. Oh yeah, insert I did this on this other. Yeah, yeah, yep. That's where we insert. We we beat them up on the price. They wanted 150. We got them down to 130. We just created twenty thousand dollars in equity in, out of thin air just from a conversation. Now we got them at 130. Well, what we did in the past for a seller in your situation, insert third party story. Now if they got a loan on it and all that, we took over payment. If they don't have a loan on it, we paid them directly. But we have to make our third party story similar to whatever story they've already told us on our condition, timeline, motivation, those things. That's why I like to get to the price kind of last because it kind of makes it easier because I know some information that I could use to insert into the third party story. That makes them. sense. That makes sense. So I want to get into real estate, but don't know where to start. Well, what I would say is to join the Future Cash Flow Club. It's a community of investors where we talk about wholesaling, we talk about creative deal structuring, buying houses subject to, all of the creative stuff that everybody's talking about. You don't need a real estate license or any of that. Wow, where do I sign up? Well, I would say go to futurecashflowclub.com. That's futurecashflowclub.com. You can even get a free trial. Try it out today.